This is the entrance to the Midera Temple, which is just outside of Kyoto. Wonderful thing, about a square mile or so, with all sorts of fabulous buildings inside. But the reason we're here is to see the cherry trees that they light up at night. And inside, I believe it's an absolute fairyland. This is the wooden pagoda in the grounds of the Midera Temple. And that's a three-storey one. I reckon it'd be about 30 metres or more tall. And that's about a 1,000 years old. But it's interesting, every so often they pull them apart and then rebuild them, putting in new timber as required. Actually made from the uh, Japanese incense cedar tree. That's the Cryptomeria japonica that you see right through the hills here. They used to build them up to about seven storeys high. That's only three storeys. And the seven-storey ones were very prone to falling down because of the earthquakes and all of that, and just, I suppose, the wood rotting away. You wouldn't be able to get wood like that much these days because of the huge size of all of those timbers. But that's a thousand-year-old pagoda. Absolutely amazing. And again, at the bottom of it, in theory, there's either a bone from Buddha or perhaps the burial site of one of the Buddhist saints. But an amazing building. And just look at the intricacy of that work. Perhaps the most amazing thing about these pagodas is that they're made without the use of nails or screws or anything of the sort. They just sort of fit together somehow. What do you think about this for night lighting? This is night lighting at its very, very best. And in fact, you can learn from this. There's no reason you can't do what they've done here in your own backyard. Notice along the sides of the pathway here, you've got these sort of box lantern lights just to guide your eye and also, I suppose, to give you some idea of where you're gonna walk along so they don't fall over. And there's up lights, lights on the ground shining up into the trees to create a ceiling or a roof over the whole effect here. Notice in the distance again, more lights shining up into the trees to give you dimension and perspective. Now, all of these things you can do with simple 12 volt lighting in your own home, but of course here it's uh, on a very big scale and it's particularly well done. Well, isn't Japan a spectacular place? Spectacular natural beauty, certainly in spring, which by the way is uh, early April wonderful culture, fascinating things like the Wagyu cattle, well, everything you've seen on tonight's program. Doubtless by now, you have all decided that you're coming here to Japan to visit. As I said, the ideal time to see all the cherry blossom and all of spring unfolding is early April. Now, do you want more information, maybe a fact sheet to get the details? If you would, as always, you can write into Burke's Backyard for the fact sheet. All you've got to do is mark on the back of your envelope the segment that you're interested in and address it to Burke's Backyard. P.O. Box 929, Willoughby, New South Wales, 2068. And don't forget to include a business-sized, stamped, self-addressed envelope. Well, again, I really hope you've enjoyed the look around Japan, one of the great countries of the world. See you all again next week. Hooroo.